It's back. Oh, no. It's here. You can't be here. I'm not ready. I am. <laughs> Miss me? Ow! <laughs> so, huh? Is it true what they say? Is it lonely at the top? Well, ask them. Ask who? Entourage! <laughs> who are these people, please? That's uh, my business manager, road manager, personal manager, and uh, a gaggle of tarts. <laughs> so, where's my little Nicole then? Hi! Nicole? Is this you? I was expecting this, this little girl, not this gorgeous woman standing here. Well, you'll just have to take me for what I am. Oh, it's great to see you. <laughs> hey, listen, get some clothes on. We're out of here. It's right back. Come on, Shelby. So, Malcolm, last time you were here, you were this struggling, irresponsible kind of a bum. So now you're a big, successful rock star, and I gotta ask you, when are you leaving? Ah, Mikey. No, no, I understand. I used to be a real idiot. But now I've settled into success calmly and comfortably. We're a little too calm and comfortable for our own fucking, are we, mate? Joe, Michael, allow me to introduce Dennis Bernard, personal manager and, and Jiminy Cricket. Hello. I'm just doing what you pay me to do, Malcolm, trying to keep you out of the discount bins, which is proving rather difficult considering it's been eight months and the new album is nowhere in sight. There are two dozen low-life degenerates running around my building, which can only mean one thing. Malcolm, you've returned to me. <laughs> Megs, my pet, you are a vision. I know. <laughs> We're ready, let's go. Where are we going? Well, that's right, where are we going? Oh, you love it. It's called the recording studio, where we'll be working all afternoon. Hey, hey, Dennis. Dennis, don't let me go in there, okay? Um... Uh, my friends don't want to spend the whole day in a, in, a, in a recording studio. Everyone's been dying for your new record, Malcolm. Your fans are waiting, Malcolm. Sooner or later, you've, you've got to go in. Okay, Mother. <laughs> Entourage! We're out of here. Oh, no, Nicole, don't worry about us. Just, just pretend we're not here. Oh, wait, you did. <laughs> I guess that leaves us all alone, huh? What do you want to do today? I hear there's a Fellini festival at the Waverly. <laughs> to go out the studio and all the musicians are waiting for Malcolm and Malcolm says I want waffles so he we went to Wally's Waffle World and they named a waffle after him hey, I'll tell you something's not right with him I mean it used to be that you couldn't get him out of the studio but now he's rich famous successful it's like you can't get him in and so Malcolm's manager begged him to sing something and Malcolm said he'd rather hear me sing something so I sang something I could die we've been supplanted Joe overthrown in our daughter's affections a, a coup de dad. <laughs> She's a fan, guys. Come on. You gotta understand what it's like to idolize somebody. What, you had an idol? <sighs> no. I was the object of idolatry. <laughs> I played pro ball for 16 years. You think I didn't have any fans? <laughs> okay, a guy named Leon. <laughs> but he was important to me. I mean, I'd come out of the stadium after a tough game and... There he'd be, sitting on his blanket, wearing his lucky hunting cap. One flap up, one flap down. <laughs> then he had this sign that said, Go Ed. <laughs> it was usually misspelled, but... <laughs> Leon was always there for me. City after city after city. Until I got traded to Green Bay. And... He couldn't find it. <laughs> I think what Ed's trying to say is that since he was such an important presence in Leon's life, that Leon's dads maybe felt a little underappreciated, too. 
That's not what I meant. I... Yes, it was. <laughs> See, as you guys know, parenting can sometimes be a thankless task. And Malcolm said maybe someday I could go on tour with him. Wouldn't that be great? I could follow him from city to city for the rest of my life. Don't worry, Joe. We'll show her. We'll have another child. Good night, Dad. See you in the morning. Good night, sweetie. Hey, Nick. Hey. How about you come down here and you eat ice cream with us and watch TV, huh? With us. Thanks, Dad, but I'm exhausted. I am asleep on my feet. I just want to lie in my bed and dream about my day with Malcolm. Let's beat him up. <laughs> nah, Michael, he's my friend. I'll beat him up. <laughs> yeah, you don't fool me. You're really worried about him, aren't you? Why does a guy that loves what he's doing all of a sudden start spending all his time trying to avoid it? My mom and dad said that if I went into the music business that I'd fail. Now, they were off by several million dollars, but they knew what they were talking about. Malcolm, you're back! I'm so glad! I'm not as tired as I thought. I have these posters that I need you to autograph for my friends. I kind of promised them. I hope you don't mind. You can tell your friends this. There won't be any more albums. There'll be no more cassettes and no more CDs. What do you mean? I mean, you've picked the wrong horse, Nicole. I mean, I can't come up with new music just because you want me to. Hey, hey, come on, calm down, pal. Don't you get it, Joe? I'm scared that I can't top my first album. I'm scared that I don't have it anymore. There's nothing in my head. There's no words. There's, there's no music. It's empty. Hey, don't worry about it. Come on. Hey. Look, if it's not there, it's not there. I mean, look, you and me, we go back a long time, right? <laughs> it's gonna come. It always does. No, not this time. Look, I've walked out the studio. I've fired my manager. Look, I'm giving it up. I mean, you're never gonna do any more songs? Hey, Nick, maybe we should let Malcolm be alone and we'll see him in the morning, okay? Look, Joe, I've done a lot of living and I put all that into my first album. And now they want me to come up with another album on demand and I... I'm sorry. There's nothing on here at the moment. You can't do that, though. You're just not trying. You just have to go back in there and try. You can do it. I know you. You don't know me. You don't know me at all. You, you know some article in the magazine. Look, you know this guy. Well, let me tell you, Sonny. This guy is finished. He, he's dead. You can tell your friends that, too. You've, you've pushed him too far, and you've killed him. Hey, Nick. Look, he doesn't mean that you killed him personally. I mean, he's just feeling a lot of pressure. I mean, he's afraid that he's not going to be able to, to deliver to his fans. And you're one of his biggest fans. You gotta believe that. Well, I'm never gonna believe in anybody again. I mean, the one guy who I always thought was so perfect. I felt so special because I actually knew him. And all my friends think he's so great, but now I know. He really isn't. Sweetheart, do you think it's possible that may maybe you're overreacting a little bit? <laughs> Apparently not. Please go away. I'm inconsolable. <laughs> So, to recap, as far as Nicole is concerned, Malcolm is out, and we're back in. Now, now I realize, of course, a bigger person would feel some compassion for the man, but uh, I'm very petty, and I have to laugh. You want your daughter to worship you? Never happened. Know why? You're a father. You're around all the time. She's seen you in your boxer shorts. Face it. It's your thankless task to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. You, you're wrong. About what? I don't wear boxer shorts. <laughs> I wear jockeys. 
Me too. I don't really want to know that. Well, he's asleep, she's depressed. What do we do? We write a song. Oh. Oh, well, why don't we do that? Follow me, Joe. Malcolm needs a song. Nicole needs Malcolm to have a song. So what's missing? The song. We provide that. We write a song, we sing it to her, we say it's from him. She feels great, he's terrific, we're nothing. Where's the flaw? We don't write songs. Why must you be so negative? <laughs> this song is gold, Joe. This is gold. Platinum. This is a platinum. What comes after platinum? Plutonium. <laughs> this is plutonium. Joey and Michael, the White Album. <laughs> we rhymed holiday with what the collies say. <laughs> it's plutonium, baby. <laughs> Let's play it again. Can we play it again? I'd like to play it again. Do we have to? Yes, we have to. Come on. Sound check. Sound check. Test one, two. Hello. One, two. Hello. Good evening. One, two. One. One, two. What do we want to do thing? I see you down in the dumps. Like a clown with the mumps <laughs> Well, don't you be that way Because today is the day Stop being depressed <laughs> Can you stop being depressed <laughs> Give your blues a holiday Do land, do land, do land What the happy collie say Do up, do up Stop being depressed <laughs> Tell your face to go get dressed. <laughs> oh, Put on that smile and slip into that grin. Cause now it's time for you. That lousy mood that you've been in. There's a bunch of cherries sitting in your life bowl. So take them out of the food, Nicole. I just want to play this for Nicole. I just want to play for Nicole. Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, man. Oh, man. You, you heard that? What are you two guys up to, then? What did you think of the song? Don't ask him that. <laughs> hey, you wouldn't have any spare material that I could use, would you? I told you, this is a great song. You see, I've, I've been having this problem lately. It's called No Inspiration. I forgot, you can't just sit down and write a good song, you know. You can't? <laughs> no, no, no. It's got to come from a from a special place. Yeah, yeah, like right here, right? Like here, among friends. Where you can catch your breath again, you know? Where you can find yourself. Hey. Welcome back. Thanks, mate. But, but you, did, you liked the song, right? <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> yeah, just, I'll tell you what. Why don't you let me just polish it up a bit? Whoa, 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 whoa. what do you mean polish? <laughs> well, you know, polish. Just want to polish it. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's that's why we did it. <laughs> hey. Thanks, mate. You're a pal. What a pal's for, huh? <laughs> Great, Goofy. You just gave him the plutonium. <laughs> Fine. Fine. I don't want to talk to anybody, okay? Not anybody. Hi, Judge. Come on out. I don't feel like it right now. Yes, you do. <laughs> What's going on? Hello, Soho. It's great to be back. You may have heard that I'd taken leave of my head. Well, this is a vicious rumor, and no longer true. I'd like to kick up the set with a little song that goes out to a very special young lady. I think she may be in the crowd tonight. I believe I see her. Nicole, this song's for you. You ready, Mr. Piano? I can 
remember the first time I gazed into your eyes. You looked at me and smiled, child. I went wild. I was hypnotized. Well, I'm still here at your command, but I need you to understand. version better. <laughs> I'm taking this down to the studio right now. I'll expect you there in 30 minutes, Malcolm. Hey, thanks, Dennis. Hey, by the way, you're rehired. I am? <laughs> it must be Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, uh, Mr. Taylor, Mr. Harris, you've got a lovely daughter. That was the best song I have ever heard in my life. Nicole, as much as I like that look, don't. What look? That one. The one with the wide, adoring eyes that says, Malcolm, you can do no wrong. Well, I can, Nicole. And when I do, I need a friend who'll understand. And that's why I've come here to be with my friends. Friends? Friends. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Yep, we're back to zilch. We're nothing. <laughs> we don't exist. Too bad. Because if Nicole's dads were still here, I'd offer them a rare moment of praise. But they're not. <laughs> Too bad. Before I go, I'd like you to know that the inspiration for that song and many of its actual lyrics were contributed by my, my two co-writers and my... My dear mates, Joey Slohan Harris right. and Michael Rapmaster Taylor. <laughs> well, I gotta be off. Hey, Malcolm, now, now that you're leaving, I gotta ask you a question. When are you coming back? Well, rock and roll stars don't say goodbye. They, they just fade out after three and a half minutes. <laughs> a song with Malcolm? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't think your father's were that talented, did you? As a matter of fact, we wrote another plutonium song. If I, if I could just sing a few... <laughs>